Hello, Monster Jam fans. Yes, your dear old friend Joseph Nelson, Green Joe Buff here, and welcome to Science Series number 16. This is racing. You know the trucks. You know who's facing who. Well, if you didn't, now you did. And uh, I checked cons, and this was a requested race by Cody Armstrong, Team Cody Armstrong versus Team uh, Monster Jam Collector Racing. So we got Cody Armstrong and Sriracha. And Monster Jam Collective Racing and Bigfoot. Battle with the big bad pickups. I imagine this being a Ford in real life. Here we go. Round one racing. On the Mega Cams, and there goes Sriracha. Taking on Monster Jam Collector Racing. Alright, we are off to a very good start. That was a great race. Sriracha getting some huge air off of the Mega Cams. And also, we got a turkey on the track in honor of Thanksgiving. I, I ate well. I hope you guys did too. And next up in our racing bracket, we got Earth vs. Surf. Where the crap are these trucks before the All-Star Challenge? <laughs> Picked these up at a Walmart in Oklahoma, and now they're in the side series. So we got Dragon Earth taking on Octonator Surf. Here we go. Down they go over the cars and over the Mega Cans, and it's going to be Octonator. Octonator Surf. I almost, I almost, kept, I almost kept saying uh, Octonator Ice, but um, I haven't done anything with that one in forever. And next up, we got Gravedigger 25th Anniversary, taking on Max D. I forgot to mention in the Field of Trucks video that this is the brand new Heavy Metal Max D. It arrived yesterday, and I wasn't even home yet. <laughs> These two are the fastest trucks in practice. It ended up being Gravedigger taking out Max D in the final race. And we'll see if Max D can redeem himself, or will he relive the, the same event? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Here we go. Gravedigger Max D. Now they go over the car and over the Mega Cans, and it's going to be Max D. I'm getting better at talking fast. So Max D gets his revenge against Gravedigger. Moving on to the second round. Now let's see who else is moving to the second round. All right, I saw this race in person with my own eyes. If you were at the Tacoma Show 2013 on Saturday, you remember this race. And look it up on my YouTube channel. Captain America taking on Tropical Thunder. And down they go. Over the Mega Cans they go, and it's going to be Tropical Thunder taking out Captain America. Funny, because in real life it was the opposite. It was the other way around. All right, next up, two trucks we haven't heard from in a while. There's a lot of them in this. Ice Cream Man taking on Santa's Monster Sleigh. And I can't wait to see what the new Christmas truck is going to be this year. I can't wait to get it when it comes out. So here we go. Santa and the Ice Cream Buddy. I mean, Ice Cream Man. Over the car they go. Over the Mega Cans. That's going to be the Ice Cream Man. Yeah, the red lane seems to be the blessed lane. While this is the cursed lane. So Ice Cream Man advancing to round number two. What a finish. Some serious air. All right, kicking it back to 2013. I'm also happy to announce that I'll be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my YouTube channel all year long. So, we got the Patriot, the first champion on the YouTube channel, and the first World Finals champion, Max D. Glow. So, here we go. 2013, Patriot, Max D. It's showtime. Over the cars, over the mega cans, Patriots all over the place, and gets the win as Max D does a sky wheelie, gets a stuck on the tailgate, allowing the Patriot to advance to round number two. What a race that was. All right, next up, we got two big blue Fords who really need to return to Monster Jam. Backwards Bob taking on Grave Digger the Legend. Here we go. Oh, Backwards Bob got stuck on the gate going down, but he manages to catch up. As Grave Digger the Legend turns to the left, trying to leave the track. But Backwards Bob sticks it on the tailgate? Or on the nose? <laughs> you can never tell it's this guy. But, in all seriousness, Backwards Bob gets the win. And up next, we got the Party Crusher returning once again. Taking on Radical Rescue. Another er, name that hasn't been heard from on this channel for quite some time. But back again, hoping to make a Radical victory. Here we go. All oh, problems for Party Crusher. Allowing Radical Rescue to get the win. I'm not sure what happened with Party Crusher. But whatever it is, it'll allow Radical Rescue to advance to round number two. <laughs> Tough break for Party Crusher. 
And next up, we got Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Another name we haven't heard from in a long time. Taking on Hot Tamale, who this time has a Spin Master chassis. Hopefully, it'll do him some good. Here we go. Black Ops and Hot Tamale over the cars, over the Mega Cans, and it's going to be Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Eliminating Hot Tamale, who looks really good on this chassis. Looks just like the real thing. Even with the BKT tires. Well, Hot Tamale did used to be an uh, Iron Outlaw. A little fun fact for you there. Alright, next up we got the Carbonator. The green one taking on Buckshot. Who I cannot wait to see throw down in freestyle. But for now, he's got he's got throw down in racing. So here we go. Carbonator and Buckshot over the cars, over the mega cans. They both keep it on all four wheels. And it's a close race, but... And it looks like... Looks like a, a tie, so time to rerun them. And swapping lanes, let's try this again. Down they go, over the cars and the mega cans. And it's gonna be the Carbonator. Buckshot did pretty well, but not well enough. As Carbonator moves on to round two. And next up, we got Gravedigger Earth taking on the Destroyer. This is the Grave Digger Earth from the two pack with Black Ops, which is why Black Ops is in this. And there is a difference with this. No passenger side door, and it's a gray chassis. And the other one was like a chrome, I think. Like the one from the Toy Fair exclusive truck from 2019. Yeah. But, anyways, Grave Digger, Destroyer, here we go! All the cars, <laughs> Destroyer all over the place. Over the Mega Can and getting the win. Yeah, I had to bring back Destroyer after what he did in freestyle in the last one. Although I glued the wheel back on, I was getting tired of it coming off. It's starting to get annoying. I almost lost it once. But that was a pretty good crash, though. And it just fell into the container. Anyways, we got the Ford taking on the Chevy. Iron Outlaw versus Equalizer. And here they go. Oh, the cars and mega cams. They both do a sky wheelie and landing on their sides, but Equalizer goes the furthest, advancing to round number two. What a race. This might be better than the last one. And next up, Battle of the Sharks. Megalodon taking on Tiger Shark. Down they go, or the mega cans, and Megalodon gets the win. I thought he was gonna go off the track, but nope. He made a U-turn and claimed the big W. Moving on to round two. Okay, next up we got the Glow in the Dark Gravedigger taking on the Rockstar. Another truck we haven't seen in a while. This time on a front engine chassis and it looks really good. And this body actually sits really well on it. Like, like it hardly moves at all. Unless you move it left and right. But other than that, it sits on this chassis really well. It's awesome. But anyways... Here we go. Over the Mega Cans and Rockstar. Ugh, voice crack. Rockstar gets the win over Gravedigger. What a race. Man, Gravedigger not doing so well. We only got one left. Okay, and next up, we got Scarlet Bandit taking on Race Ace. This is basically what Race Ace looked like in St. Charles after that crash. <laughs> and anyways, let's go. Over the Mega Cans and Scarlet Bandit gets the win over Race Ace. Looking pretty good for two extreme racing. Well, apart from Iron Outlaw and Hot Tamale. And next up, another truck that hasn't been seen on here for a while, Gas Monkey Garage. Taking on the Lucas Oil Podium Crasher. Down they go. Over the cars and the Mega Cans. They both keep it on all four, but Podium Crasher goes the furthest. Getting the win over Gas Monkey, and moving on to round two. What a race. Next up, Gravedigger Blonde to the Bone taking on Sinistar. Gravedigger taking on a former Gravedigger chassis. Now identifying as Sinistar. Here we go. All the cars, Mega Cans, Gravedigger getting some serious air, and getting the win over Sinistar. What a, what a race that was. I'm really enjoying this met. This is uh, add-up I got. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm fumbling up with my words here. 
Okay, next up, the Glow in the Dark 5 Alarm, taking on the truck that was handpicked by Kenny12003, Jekyll and Hyde. Here they go, down to go over the car, and Jekyll and Hyde gets a win over 5 Alarm. What a race. I know I, I, I know I said that a lot, but I'm enjoying this, can't you tell? Ooh, it's time for the mystery trucks. This is not a mystery truck. This is just who the mystery truck's going up against. And here's Mr. Truck number one, driven by. Oh, hang on a minute. Too many trucks on this. Driven by Nathaniel Wiggins. It's the Yellow Zombie. Yep, I'm sure some of you saw this coming when you saw the 25th anniversary Grave Digger. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to have to put them outside the gate because Zombie was getting caught on the gate. That the hand, the hand there was getting caught on the gate. So, yeah. It's the Grouse Brothers in 2016. NEA, Zombie, let's go. And over the Mega Cans, Zombie backs it up and um and the mystery truck has been eliminated by NEA. But maybe I'll bring back the fast loser. Who knows? But good run by NEA. Now for the next mystery truck. Alright, here who mystery truck number two will be facing. And driven, driven by Monster Jam Mutt. It's the silver edition of Wolf's Head. Yeah. And I cannot wait to see Lone Wolf later ne next year. Maybe even later this year if I'm lucky. So here we go. Wolf's Head, higher education, let's go. And the, the other mystery truck has been eliminated. Higher education, getting the win. Man, that really is the blessed lane. The one with the red cars. All right, I'm bringing them back as a fast loser. All right, we got Bounty Hunter taking on Mr. Truck number three. Driven by Monster Jam Fox 68. It's an old truck. It's an old name, but it's new to this video. It's Survivor. Yeah. I remember when this first came out. I was like 10 years old. And now here it is in my science series after how many years? So here we go, Bounty Hunter, Survivor. Down they go over the Mega Cans, and they both did the same and roll over. But Survivor is moving on to the next round. All right, I'm bringing back two mystery trucks as a fast loser. So we got Zombie and Wolf's Head. Here we go. And it's gonna be all, I thought it was gonna be Wolf's Head for a second, but nope, it's gonna be the Yellow Zombie. Yellow Zombie will be facing Survivor in round two. Let's do this thing. All right, Monster Jam fans, this is round two. We got a turkey on a boat down there. Let's take him out. Sriracha and Octonator Surf, let's go. And it's gonna be Sriracha. And the turkey survives. <laughs> but not for long, at least I think so. And next up, Max D taking on Tropical Thunder. And oh, what a race. It's going to be Tropical Thunder. Getting some good hang time and eliminating Max D. Moving on to the next round. But now, here comes Tropical Thunder's teammate, the Patriot, taking on Ice Cream Man. Dodge versus Chevy. Let's go. They're both blue with a little bit of red. And it's going to be Ice Cream Man eliminating the Science Series veteran, the Patriot. All right, next up, Radical Rescue taking on Backwards Bob. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, well, there goes the turkey. But problem was for Backwards Bob. Getting caught on the gate for some reason. All right, let's try that again. There we go. And there goes the turkey once again. And Backwards Bob gets the win over Radical Rescue. Rest in peace, turkey. Get that boat out of the way. I just want to see what would happen if I put it there. And that's what happened. You'd think that'd be common sense, but no. I just want to have some fun. Alright, next up. Soldier Fortune Black Ops taking on the Carbonator. Over they go. Over the Mega Cans. Soldier Fortune Black Ops going flying while Oxinator. Oxen Carbonator takes out a crush car. 
great race, but Soldier Fortune Black Ops is moving on to round number two, or three, excuse me. But let's see who else is moving on. All right, next up, Destroyer versus Equalizer. Let's go. And Equalizer destroys the Destroyer. Looking to get a win this year. Destroyer's got three of them. He had to take on three forms to do it, but he did it, but not this time. Maybe better luck, maybe a lot better luck in triple threat racing. All right, next up, Megalodon taking on Rockstar, who's in the far lane. We'll see how well he can do in this lane. Here he goes. And over they go, over the Mega Cans, I mean. And it's gonna be Rockstar. Rocking on to round three. Next up, Scarlet Bandit taking on Podium Crasher. Oh, they go, and Podium Crasher flying all over the place, but getting the win over Scarlet Bandit. And all that remains of two extreme racing is Jekyll and Hyde, and he's coming up next. All right, the last remaining member of two extreme racing taking on the last remaining Grave Digger. It's Grave Digger taking on Jekyll and Hyde. Let's go. Oh, some unbelievable air for Grave Digger. Flying right over Jekyll and Hyde, who has gotten the win, and will move on to round three. Starting to see some crazier races now. All right, next up, NEA taking on higher education, who has to go outside of the gate because kept getting caught on it. And yeah, I know some of you are thinking that this gate sucks because of that. I know, but right now, it's all I got. I'll find something else. But anyways, NEA, the police car taking on the school bus. Here we go. Over the Mega Cans, it is going to be higher education. Taking out NEA. Beautiful truck, though. And to wrap up round two, Survivor taking on Zombie. Here we go. And it's going to be Survivor. And that's why they call him Survivor, because he survived all the races. I think, I think that's why it is called Survivor, if I remember correctly. But either way, he survived round one, round two, and let's see if he can survive round three. But uh-oh. Okay. Okay, before we close out round two, well, I guess we can uh, close out. Before we move on to round three, fast loser times. Captain America versus Gas Monkey Garage. Down they go, all the Mega Cans, and ooh, it's a close one. But your winner is Captain America. Battle of the Red, red Pickups. Big Red Pickups. Oh man, my, that sounds so much cooler in my mind. Battle of the Big Red Pickups. Tropical Thunder taking on Sriracha. Here we go. And oh, some serious air for Sriracha. Nice safe. And Tropical Thunder is moving on to round two. I'm not sure what he was doing when I was focusing on Sriracha, who was going sideways. Well, good. well, I guess it went sideways for him. And next up, Ice Cream Man taking on Backwards Bob. And Backwards Bob, man. Man, Backwards Bob is on fire tonight. I'm not sure what to say here. Next up, Soldier Fortune Black Ops taking on the Equalizer. Down they go, over the Mega Cans. Black Ops goes down, and Equalizer gets the win. Moving on to round uh, four. Yeah, this is round three. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I always have a brain fart when it comes to round three. I just, I don't know. But anyways, next up is Rockstar versus Podium Crasher. Down they go, over the Mega Cans. And Rockstar has been defeated. Take, taken out by Podium Crasher. What a race that was. I'm really enjoying the Sky Wheelies here. And next up, Higher Education versus Jekyll and Hyde. Down they go. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde runs right into Higher Education. Oh, man. And your winner's gonna be Higher Education. And last up for round three, Captain America taking on Survivor. Down they go for the cars, and they both do the same flip. And it's going to be Survivor, who is absolutely surviving this competition. All right, next up, Backwards Bob and Tropical Thunder. This is round four. Backwards Bob back into the far lane. That new paint chip, son of a... There we go. Oh... And it's going to be Backwards Bob taking out Tropical Thunder and the turkey. No respect for the turkey. 
Next up, Lucas Oil Podium Crasher versus the Equalizer, who used to be known as Lucas Oil Equalizer. Down they go, and nice air for Equalizer, getting the win and eliminating the Podium Crasher. And the last race of round four, Survivor taking on Higher Education. Down they go, and Survivor. It's an old truck, but he is kicking butt. All right, down on to the semifinals, but uh-oh, again. All right, this is the final Fast Loser race. This is Grave Digger taking on Buckshot, and pretty much Bigfoot, since Buckshot ran as Bigfoot. Here we go, Fast Loser race, and Grave Digger 25th is back for revenge. Buckshot, well, he got shot. All right, ladies and gents, this is the final race. Or no, not the final race, the semi-finals. Well, it'll be the final race after uh, after Survivor and Gravedigger. But for now, Equalizer taking on Backwards Bob. Chevy versus Ford. And Backwards Bob got caught on the freaking gate again. I mean, come on, man. Look at that. That's annoying. Let's try again. Here we go. And serious error for backwards Bob. Equalizer keeping up with him, but does he get the lead or the win and whatever? Whoa. Yeah, just barely. But your winner is the Equalizer. And now, who's going to face Equalizer in the final race? Will it be Grave Digger or will it be Survivor? Well, let gravity decide. Here we go. Down they go. And it's going to be the Grave Digger. Taking out Survivor. And he survived all the other rounds up until the Sunlight Finals. But nice job by Survivor. But in the end, it's going to be Grave Digger. This is it. This is the final race. Now it is. Give me a second to find the names. In the near lane, looking to get a, another victory this year. I'm sure he's gotten one, but this truck hasn't. It's Eric Crawford in the Equalizer. And in the far lane, from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, it's Grave Prower in the Grave Digger. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. And it's time to go racing right here, right now. On they go, and your winner is Eric Crawford, Equalizer. Equalizer claiming his first ever win this year. Congratulations to Eric Crawford. He's celebrating. He's going on the triple. And expect to see more of that in freestyle. And uh, I'm going to have to replace the can. That was dumb. But good jump, though. And congratulations to Eric Crawford and Equalizer. And there he is laying on great things. Well, that concludes racing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't go anywhere. Long jump is next. Assuming I can get this video uploaded. Until then, I'm Joseph Nelson. And see you later.